Hi, I'm Ian Angus, the Gambling Commission's Programme Director for Consumer Protection and Empowerment. And I'm Pradeep Rajanya, Consumer Policy Senior Manager. We've made some changes to the licence conditions and codes of practice, and I'm here with Ian today to find out what these changes mean for licensees and consumers. So Ian, tell us what these new changes are. The changes are fivefold. So firstly, operators will be required to abide by UK advertising codes, which are written by the Committees of Advertising Practice and enforced by the Advertising Standards Authority. Secondly, uh, operators will be held fully accountable for the actions and behaviours of third parties, including marketing affiliates. Thirdly, operators will be required to comply with consumer law, particularly in relation to online promotions and the withdrawal of customer funds. Fourthly, operators will be required to introduce uh, better complaint handling processes and we're introducing a new eight week limit uh, for the resolution of customer complaints. And finally, operators will be required to ensure that they don't spam UK consumers by electronic means. Why are these changes being introduced? The changes reflect our broader strategic ambition to make sure that gambling is fair and safe um, and have been brought about because we had evidence that consumers weren't being treated fairly. Uh, we know that uh, public trust in gambling is on the decline. There were quite serious compliance failings with consumer law and the UK advertising codes and more general concerns about the protection of children, young people and vulnerable people. We consulted widely on these proposals earlier this year with industry, consumers and other stakeholders um, and there was widespread support for these changes. How do these changes ensure that consumers are better protected from unfair terms and misleading practices? Well, the changes came about on the back of a significant piece of work with the Competition and Markets Authority to investigate potential breaches of consumer law in the online sector particularly in relation to promotions and the withdrawal of customers' monies. Um, the changes will mean that the Commission will have the ability to act uh, more swiftly and in a tougher manner to address breaches of consumer law. So what sort of issues have been addressed? Well, we expect operators to abide by all aspects of consumer law, but in particular uh, requirements relating to online promotions and the withdrawal of customer funds. So. During the investigation with the CMA, we found that uh, offers were being promoted in a way that was misleading, and customers didn't have easy and ready access to understandable terms and conditions. And we also found examples whereby operators were unfairly withholding customers' deposits and winnings. You mentioned there are some changes to how we expect operators to manage their complaints processes. How will this make the processes better? Well, the new requirements that are being introduced will make clear to operators that we expect a complaints process which is fair, open, transparent and effective. Um, and as part of that, we're introducing a new eight-week limit uh, during which operators must resolve customers' complaints and disputes. In addition, we are publishing new advice to operators to help them develop uh, an effective and appropriate uh, customer complaints process. Um, we are also introducing a new uh, set of standards for ADRs, Alternative Dispute Resolution Bodies. Can you tell us a bit more about the advertising rule changes? Absolutely. Uh, for the first time, licensed operators will be required in our rule book to comply with the full suite of the UK advertising codes. And a failure to do so will result in swifter and tougher action from the Gambling Commission, including the potential for fining. Finally, what should gambling firms do now? Well, operators need to familiarise themselves with the changes that come into effect from the 31st of October. And that means putting uh, treating consumers fairly at the very heart of their business model. Uh, they need to ensure that protocols and processes are updated, that staff are fully trained and understand what the changes mean in practice. Uh, as the Commission, we'll continue to regulate in a fair and proportionate manner, but we won't hesitate to use the full range of our regulatory powers if needed.